Hello and welcome to my weekly Geekly, the show in which I talk about what's been going on in my geeky world over the past seven days. Top story today is that we have our Simba and our Mufasa for Jon Favreau's upcoming remake of The Lion King. Donald Glover will be playing Simba, which is pretty fantastic news, and James Earl Jones will be playing Mufasa, which is of course the role that he played in the original 1994 animation. More news on the film when I hear it. Sticking with Disney, Angela Lansbury has joined the cast of Mary Poppins Returns, the sequel to their classic Mary Poppins. She will play Balloon Lady in the Rob Marshall film, joining Emily Blunt, Lynn manuel Miranda, Meryl Streep, Julie Waters and Colin Firth, as well as Dick Van Dyke who will cameo. The film is currently in production and is due in cinemas in December 2018. We have some teeny tiny scraps of information about Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. An image of Rey, Finn and Poe has been released which shows that Rey now has slightly different hair, I will link to that image below. And also due to translations of the title into other languages it would appear that the Jedi of the title are plural and not singular. So The Last Jedi isn't just one person, they are two or more people. So yeah, very small scraps of information, but we'll take what we can get at this point. Good news if you are a fan of the 14-year-old film Love Actually, the cast are reuniting for a 10-minute sequel on Red Nose Day. It is called Red Nose Day Actually and it is written by Richard Curtis. Cast members known to be involved are Kira Knightley, Hugh Grant, Colin Firth, Liam Neeson, Bill Nye, Rowan Atkinson, Thomas Brodie Sangster, Martin McCutcheon, Andrew Lincoln, Lucia Muniz and Olivia Olsen. That's quite a few of them. It will air as part of Red Nose Day on the 24th of March on BBC One. A follow-up to his Dark Materials is due to arrive this year. The first volume of The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman will be published on the 19th of October and it is now available for pre-order. The book trilogy is set in the same world as his Dark Materials. Apparently it begins about 10 years before the events of Northern Lights and ends about 10 years after The Amber Spyglass. So it's not a sequel or a prequel, it's more or less running parallel to his Dark Materials. I'm really excited and I think I should reread the books because it's been an awful long time since I read them. There's also a BBC TV adaptation of his Dark Materials in the works, so it would appear that we're going to be spending quite a bit of time in that world over the next few years. Broadchurch Series 3 now has an air date. The final series of the Chris Chibnall drama starring David Tennant and Olivia Colman will begin on ITV on the 27th of February, and I will link to a trailer below. Chris Chibnall is of course moving on to Doctor Who as its new showrunner, and he'll be writing for a new Doctor as Peter Capaldi is due to step down from the role in December. A quick update about Electric Dreams, The World of Philip K. Dick, an anthology series starring Brian Cranston. I talked about this on here quite a while ago now. The 10 part series will now be on Amazon Prime Video after the original alliance between Channel 4 and AMC stalled. Amazon is now co-producing with Sony. And finally, in Mouse mentioned something which is on TV soon now which might be quite good, Inside Number 9 returns to BBC Two on Tuesday the 21st of February at 10pm. This third series technically began with the Christmas special so I believe there are only five episodes left to air. I love the show and I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Do give it a try if you like your comedy dark and inventive. This has been my Weekly Geekery.